who did this to me, my auntie did this to me, or this happened to me at school, I was picked on at school, I was bullied at school, so that's why I'm acting like the way I am, this is why the way I am, but you know, God, Jesus came so that we might be changed, Amen. and if you say that you're saved and you change and you believe in God and you say you can be changed, then you should be able to believe that, you know, God is able to remove those things that happened to us in our past and not use those things too as a distraction, All Amen. Right. So sometimes we have to move past everything that hurt us, move past the pain, the trials and tribulations that, you know, the devil tries to put on us. And don't let that distract us. That's right. Because we use an excuse as we do what we do, the things we say that we say. We use those things as the places we go. And say, some people say, you know, well, I've been out this long. There's no way God will accept me back. You know, well, I messed up this way, so there's no way that God will accept me back. I don't feel like I can get close to God anymore. I don't feel like I can, you know, be saved. Because I, I, I love this. Some people, they True. love the world so much. It's like, I don't feel like I can get there. All and right. it seems as soon as they get right there, here comes the devil once again. Coming, stepping right up through your door again. And I had True. that happen to me. Amen. Exception. So as I said, God, I said, I'm, I'm tired of being deceived. I'm tired of being, you know, tricked. But the thing is, it's like, am I being tricked or am I, or am I letting the trickery trick me? Am I tricking my own self? You know, sometimes you can trick your own self. And I realize because you've been taught the right way, you've been shown the right way. Tell us have been taught. We've been taught. So it's not the devil tricking you, it's you letting the devil trick you. You know? There you so go. it's like there I was telling myself the other day, it's like I can't use everything as an excuse as of why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm doing what I'm doing because I love what I'm doing. doing that's right. You know, it's you do what you do because you love what you do. And you Amen. don't want to change. Amen. You know Amen. what I'm saying? If you if you want to change, you won't use it as an excuse. You will just straight up change. Because there's no way I can say after holding my 26 years and I go back out into the world, start doing everything underneath the sun and say, well, I was, this happened, my, my husband left me and that's, this is what distracted me. This right here, I had something to happen to me. I will not say what it is. I told to somebody about it. But, and it happened not too long ago. And, and, and it almost made me lose faith in church, not in God. But it made, almost made me lose faith in church. And, and I understood what church was. I understood what a lot of things was. And I was like, God, why did this have to happen to me? I'm going through too much as it is already. And I could have used that as an excuse for me to just, like, do whatever I wanted to do. But I chose, I said, you know, Lord, I forgave. And I said, God, I, I cannot use that as an excuse as of why this person do what they do. And say, because I, I know God. And be some people right. use a lot of things as an excuse as of why we go back and out into the world or why you're in the world or why you mm. can't change. Because, you know, people say they there church hurt. No or people say, you know, it's, the church ain't right as it is anyway. You know, and, and it's sad that, you know, that we can't even have blood shed on us because Come on. We, people see us. All and right. you can say we right, but the thing is, you don't live right. And so yeah. if, you're, if you're not going to do right, don't be a hypocrite. Because there are people out there watching you. But we can't use those hypocrites as our excuse as why we're not doing right. Is what I'm trying to get at. Amen. Amen. Yeah, pray for me. Okay. Uh, Amen. Pray. Amen. You're doing awesome. So I believe God said, don't do not get distracted of your past because once you accept him and have a relationship with God <coughs> and receive him in the Holy Ghost, you will learn that the very thing that tried to destroy your mind and the very thing that tried to destroy or and attack you and try to come over you. Whatever it is, God can use that, like Uncle Wayne said, to make some lemonade. Or he can use that and to make your trial, to make to build you up on. That's you know, right. I, I can say the very person that can hurt you, that hurt you is the very person that can pray you out of something. Because you God right. can use anybody. Like that's right. as Paul. Paul killed the church folks. You know, it's Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul killed sorry. Paul killed the church folks. He killed the people. And you know, God used him. To be that very person to help save some of them. And you know, so I say the very person or the very thing that tried to destroy you is the very thing that can save you. Amen? Amen. That's right. Amen. I can use whatever my trial is right now or whatever your trial is right now. Like Uncle Wayne lost his children. That can build him up. I don't want to lose nothing else no more. Or, or somebody can have to go and be going through the same situation you went through. And he can use that as for you to help somebody. Amen. Okay. Sure you know, so God puts us through things. And you can ask God, why do I have to go through this? For a reason. Why have to lose this person? Why do I have to go through this, this stumbling block? 
that God can use that. He's, I'm using this right here, this trial right here, for your glory, for my glory. Amen. For His glory. All right. He's using it for All his glory right. So he can get All right. Out of it. So sometimes, you know, if we don't understand everything that we go through. We don't That's right. understand that we, everything that we go through. But God, the thing is, we have to go through something. Amen? Amen. So stop trying to battle Come on. this thing by yourself. And that's one thing I had to learn. I couldn't battle my tests hmm. and my trials by myself. Oh, yeah. I was trying to do everything by myself. I didn't want to listen to nobody. I wanted to do everything by myself. Because nothing fear gripped me. And I didn't, I didn't want to be hurt. You know, we didn't want to say that this person hurt, this person hurt me. You know, I didn't want to go through all that stuff. I didn't want to listen to anybody because I didn't want to people to know that, hey, I didn't I done slip up too. Now uh, over something that I didn't have to slip up over. All I had to do was pray. Because thing is, I, I was pre-warned before I mean, the thing is we all can be pre-warned before something happens. But it's exactly. better to be listened to the warning before it happens, and then we won't have to go through it so hard. That's right. And if that's you choose right. not to listen to whatever warning God gives you, that's when you go through it extra hard. Because he gives you all the tools that's that you right. need to go through your test. God Amen. gives us every tool that we need to go through the test. It's whether, are you going to accept this? And the tool is right here. It's, it's right there inside your hand. Yeah. It's like, are you going to accept this tool, or are you just going to put it down and just leave it to the side? No, 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 are, are we going to just we open it, we read a, a scripture, but we don't pray. You know, or we open it, we pray, but we don't fast. And thing is, you know, God says some things only come by prayer and fasting. And I asked God, I said, Lord, the thing is, I, I had stopped doing so much <laughs> in my time of going through that I didn't realize how far back I was and how much I did not do. Yes. Until everything started unfolding. And, you know, I knew, I was a person, God told me a long time ago to, my, to me, he said, I'm a person, I have to stay in my word, I have to pray, and I have to fast. If I don't, and my mother told me this too one time, then I'm not going to get anything. I'm, I'll lose everything. And I can't go no far. So I see some people like, well, this person, they have this. This person, they got this job. They have this car. They got, and they ain't, they ain't nothing. Or they have fake. And so I said, Lord, what do I got to do all what I got to do that's right? And this person don't. And they got everything they have. And I always act like, and God said, he said, I didn't, I didn't put that on you. You know, God put, he puts everybody through something else. And he said, you're going to have to go through this right here. I want you to go through this right here. And you're not going to have anything that you need until you go through this right here. Until you do my word, until you read your Bible, until you go through this trial and test the way I want you to go through it, not the way you think you can go through it. Until you finish this, you're not going to come out as pure gold. You're going to keep going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. In and, out. and so mm. I told myself, you saying, and I'm man. saying to y'all, do yeah. not go through it in and out. Use the tools that God gave you. Amen. Yeah. Do not battle this yourself. Because Ephesians 6 and 6, for, our, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, and against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual weakness in high places. Amen. We Amen. wrestle against them, those things. We don't wrestle against each other. Amen. Amen. I don't wrestle against my uncle. You know, I'm not going to fight you <laughs> head on because I'm mad at you. I'm not about to argue with you because I don't understand what you're saying. Do we need to get understanding? Yes, we do. But we don't wrestle against those things. We wrestle no, against no. the devil, against no, the things that's that are trying right, to attack that's us. That's right, that's right, that's right. He's going to come in heavy. Sometimes he can sneak up on you, too. You don't even see him coming. But, you know, we got to keep our head up and understand what God is trying to show us. Amen? Amen. No, it's in. I mean, you see, it only make it was only to make you stronger. So for this trial and for this test, for this distraction, I'm telling myself, you can cry your last tear for this time. Amen. You can cry your last tear for this test. If you decide to use the tools and use the whatever God has given us to use, you can cease this moment. Amen. 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 If you go through it the right way, Amen. not the wrong way, go through it the way God wants you to go through it. Amen. 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 What's broken is not destroyed. Amen. And I remember um, Elder Man said something about a puzzle. I had um, thought of something one time when God gave it to me about a puzzle. And it can be a, a real simple puzzle. I work with kids. And so I'm, I'm going to be done just about after this. Amen. Take your I, time. I work with kids. And um, I was working with preschool. You know, they don't have the huge puzzles with a thousand pieces on there. They have very simple puzzles. They yeah. have like about be this big. And it might have like ten little pieces on there that you got to 
uh, could figure out. Yeah. But, you know, the kids, when they rowdy, they lose pieces of the puzzle. And the puzzle's so simple. And an adult, I'm trying to find this puzzle, and this piece is broken, this piece is lost, I can't see the little picture on the bottom because that piece been torn off, and but the puzzle is still there. And man, I'm like, well, kids, we gonna have to find this puzzle. So I got like 22 kids trying to fuzz, find a, trying to find a puzzle that I'm trying to do. And sometimes that's us. We are a puzzle, and we got everybody else trying to help us in our situation. <laughs> when it's you, need to help yourself in that situation. All right. And then. you know, you're the one that's broken. Amen. You're the one that needs to get your puzzle fixed back together. Yeah. Instead, yeah. we got everybody trying to come in inside oh, inside our, our, our work. You know, we can't have everybody trying to come in inside your work, trying to tell you what to do. Got this person over here who believes in Muslim. Got this person who believes in Buddhism, who believes in Israelitism. You know, you got all that stuff trying to come in here, trying to help you fix your puzzle. They said, and God is saying, Amanda, go get your own stuff. Go dig inside there. Go pray. Go fast. Read your word. And go find that thing that you. I told you you need to do. And then you see, oh, here goes this puzzle right here. There goes this thing right here. Even if you have to tape it together, you're not destroyed. You're just broken. So I got that here, right, that pix right there. And then he said, here goes another one right here. And then you see after you prayed and after you have fasted, here goes some more stuff that I had to fix this puzzle. If you need glue, there goes some glue. But you're going to fix this puzzle up. You're going to fix yourself up. I didn't tell you to go out there and go to do a, a smoke weed, do dope, some drink, go out clubbing and all that stuff. I didn't tell you to do all that stuff. I told you to stay right here. Yeah. But since you did that, you don't lost your one of these pieces out there. So you need to go back out there and go find it. Now, don't go do it, but go find yourself. Amen? Amen. Find yourself yeah. in God. Don't find yourself in the Word. Find yourself in God first. Then you can find yourself in who you want to be in life. If you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse. But find yourself in God first. And then God will fix all that up. Because I thought that I wanted to be a nurse. And now God is telling me, he's, and I keep, I kept denying it. I always deny it because I don't want to be a teacher. But I, I see that now what I love to do and what I'm actually good at is kids. But he's, he, and when you actually find yourself and ask God, what do I need to do? And when people push you to do other things, and you say, right. you, you can do this and they are for you. But if that's not what God wants you to do, then your pieces are still going to be broken. And sometimes here comes somebody else about to break it all up again because you got some little crazy kids. I don't, I don't like it that way. And so you, here you go again because you didn't listen. He said, I want you to sit down and do this puzzle and, and fix your puzzle up. I don't want you to go stand up and do it where this person right here can get in your mess. Amen? So I, I thank God that I learned how to fix my puzzle in the pieces where I needed to, where they needed to be at. Amen? All and right. It might, it might not look perfect. On yeah. the outside, but the thing is that that puzzle is fixed. Amen. God didn't fix. He didn't. He didn't destroy you because was destroyed. It can't be fixed. He said you're just broken. If you're broken, God can fix you back to, up together again. So mm. I'm even hoping right now, if my car is destroyed, I can get something else. So that that's not broken to me. Amen. Some things might look like it's destroyed, but it's not broken to me because God can fix anything. Mm. It's this. Do you believe? Do you trust me? Do you do you have faith in me? Do you trust God enough to say, yeah. oh, God? Forgive me, God. Do you can you take ownership? He said, take up your cross and follow me. Are you gonna take up your own cross? Not for my dad to take up my cross. He can't take up my cross for me. Come on, come I on. I go in at the gate for myself. Preach. So I have, I understand now that God. I I told the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Lord, forgive me. But I know now that I have to take up my cross and I'm gonna walk around. Hiya. And say, God, I'm, if, if I gotta walk take around this thing, and I don't know how many times I gotta walk around. If I gotta walk around ten times to understand that I'm taking up my own cross, that I'm gonna walk this thing myself. Amen. I gotta do this thing myself. That I'm not broken. So I didn't let my distractions. I didn't let the kids who was messing with me at school. I didn't let the people in church. Who didn't, who just, just try, you know, it's sometimes it is church people try to come in and distract me either. But it's just me and God. I got to have a relationship for myself. Yeah. That's right. And, and still believe that's right. the right thing. Amen. And I thank God and that's all I got. Amen. Yes, amen.